Namaste. Welcome back to Yoga's Poses, where we are on the very top of Hawks Ridge, overlooking one of the great lakes, which is absolutely beautiful and peaceful here today. Well, now that we've practiced the ending of yoga class by chanting Om one last time, it's time to say goodbye to the class. Well, how do we do this? At the end of a yoga class, the teacher will usually end with Namaste. And it's expected that the students say Namaste back to the teacher and to all the other students. When we say Namaste to someone, we can feel our heart full of kindness and love and gratitude and respect towards them. The word literally means, I bow to you. Whether you are saying Namaste to someone else or by yourself at home, you are thanking your Creator and the universe for this time. The term Namaste is correctly pronounced Namaste, but the term is also correctly pronounced Namaste. We bring our hands together at the heart chakra to increase the flow of divine love. Bowing the head and closing the eyes help the mind surrender to the divine in the heart. When we say Namaste at the end of yoga class, the mind is less active and the energy in the room is more peaceful. The teacher initiates Namaste as a symbol of gratitude and respect towards his or her students and their own teachers and in return invites the students to connect with their lineage and allowing the truth to flow. The truth that we are all one when we live from the heart. So with that, you have finished all the positions on the yoga's self-teaching yoga mat. I thank you for that and for coming along on the incredible journey. And for that, I'd like to bow to you in thanks and gratitude and say, Namaste. And remember, yogas, it's about you.